Lily and I've been a youth lead with the Decatur Challenge Youth Program since 2009. I signed up originally because I was looking for a community program. Um, I do it with the teens. What I've gotten out of the program though was far in excess of, of what I expected, just the people you meet, the leaders that are now really good friends and the kids that you spend the time with along the way. I'm Kelly. Um, I signed up as a youth leader for the Kokoda Challenge Youth Program last year, so this is my second year. Uh, the reason why I signed up initially, I was a competitor in the Kokoda Challenge in 2015 and I loved everything about what the challenge um, embodies. So it was just that physical, mental uh, side of things that I loved and when I received an email asking if I could be a volunteer leader in the next year, um, I made an assessment that I had the time and the want to do it. It's been one of the best and most rewarding things that I've ever done with my life. Um, we really are changing the lives of these kids and it's amazing to see how far they've come over a 20 week journey in such a short space of time. I'm so proud of them as we head off to PNG today. Cool. So what advice would you give to another potential person thinking about becoming a youth leader? So I would say if you've got the time, sign up as fast as you can because as Kelly said it is quite literally one of the best things I've ever done in my life and if I went back to 2009 I would sign up again in a heartbeat. It's, it's rewarding, it's fun, uh, but do make sure you've got the time. Yeah, it is a massive time commitment but it really is worth the time that you invest in it. So if you've got the ability to want to challenge yourself personally, physically, mentally and emotionally, go for it. It's and I'm a leader in the Brisbane um, Kokoda Youth Foundation uh, 2017 through this year. Hey Leah, Hi. so uh, you're off where today? We're off to Port Moresby and then we're heading to Owes Corner to start our trek on the Kokoda track. Yeah, so what, um, what inspired you to sign up to become a youth leader? A um, couple of things. Um, I like giving back um, and I like helping, I suppose, the youth of today live their dreams and do stuff that's outside their comfort zone. Um, and I also selfishly wanted to go back and do the track again, so I had my own reasons. Um, so you've done the track before? I've done the track before, yeah. And so this time I'll be doing it in the opposite direction, so it'll be a bit novel. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, yeah, so I do a lot of mentoring through work and stuff, and so this is just another avenue. And it's my passion is hiking and doing adventures and pushing myself outside my comfort zone. And to be able to do that, to be able to do that with the kids is also, you know, a great opportunity. Awesome. So, would you be able to tell us a little bit about how the program's impacted you personally? Um, how's it impacted me? Um, oof, I'm going to get emotional. <laughs> um, it's been great seeing the kids from day one and their their journey and how they've grown and um, just push themselves doing the like for example the challenge, the Kokoda challenge, 96 Ks, and we did it in 38 hours and we got all the kids over the line and there was some that you know wanted to give up and cried for 15 Ks and just seeing their strength and. Um, I never had that opportunity as a kid um, and it's something that I've done as I've got older so be able to you know, give those kids that opportunity, it's really good. Yeah. And do you find that the kids end up giving you something back as well? Oh, I think I get probably get more out of it than the kids Yeah, yeah in the end yeah. um, and it's going to be amazing seeing you know, some of these kids have, we've got a couple, one girl that's never been on a plane before and just when we land in Port Moresby and like, the culture shock and yeah. stuff like that, it's going to be amazing seeing their faces and um, seeing their journey over the next 12 days and how they come out the other side is going to yeah. be pretty cool. Yeah. So what advice would you give to someone who was thinking about signing up to become a leader? Just do it. Yeah, just do it. I mean, it, it sounds like a big commitment at the start, 20 weeks every Sunday, but it's so worth it and I'm actually sort of sad that it's finishing and I'm going to miss the training on Wednesdays and the training on Sundays. Yeah. Um, it's going to, I suppose, leave a big hole in yeah. my life and yeah. something that I'll take a while to adjust. But yeah, just, if you're thinking about it, just do it. Yeah, just sign up. Yeah, so nothing to lose. Post, post PNG, what, um, 
what what sort of phase does the program go into? Is there something that the kids Yeah, are? so um, uh, when we get back, we start community service. So we do um, once a month for the next, to August next year, we go out and do community service with the kids. Yeah. Um, and, you know, helping doing uh, maintenance work or we're doing a, um, a Christmas party with um, foster kids and stuff like that. So that'll be really good. And it's a good opportunity for us to get together and carry that journey on till next year when they graduate. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks so much, Leah. Cool. No worries. Hey guys. I'm Ryan, one of the tweed leaders for this year's KCYP group. And I'm Brad, I'm one of the other leaders for the KCYP tweed group. Awesome. And why did you both decide to become a youth leader? Um, this year I got on board through one of the other leaders from the Gold Coast group, Shane, and um, he's a very good friend of mine, so I've seen him do it uh, multiple times now, I've seen the experience that he's gone through, and um, yeah, he sort of offered me the position to be able to come and jump on board, so that was my reason, yeah. Uh, pretty similar to Ryan, so one of my mates that I go to university with, he, um, I heard about his experiences, starting to be a teacher so you know looking after children's an interest of mine I thought it was about time to give something back to the community as well so I got on board. Awesome. And how has the experience impacted you personally? Um, personally it's changed my life a lot because I've had to give up like a lot of my time pretty much they say it's just Sundays and Wednesdays but it ends up taking over a lot taking up a lot of your time but it, it is very rewarding in the end so yeah, very same same with Ryan as well. It, it does take up a lot of your time, but it is very rewarding. Um, there is a lot more to it than just Sunday and Wednesdays, and a lot of kids will come to you after hours for a lot of help, but it, it does repay you in their gratitude, so it's all worthwhile. Yeah, and what advice would you give to a future potential leader? Um, just be prepared. Like, it is like it is a lot, but like a lot of time, and it's quite time consuming, but. If you're willing to put in the time, you'll get back like a lot from it. So, if you want to help kids and like all in all help your community, like it's a great thing to do and it's, it fills your soul. So, yeah, definitely be prepared. Know what, know the challenges that's ahead of you and be and be prepared for it. Um, and then just get in and have a go, give it a crack, and I'm, I'm sure you'll benefit from it. So, and you'll meet a lot of new people. Yeah. Like. We have. We've become great mates yeah, from it. so good friendships and <laughs> yeah. you meet a lot of great kids as well, so get into it.